up it again. What did we beat? We beat um, regular, regular affinity, hardened scales affinity. We beat eight whack. We beat shadow. And what was the other deck? Let me pull that up. I think this was it here that I'm forgetting. Oh, Boggles. We also beat Boggles. So that was pretty sweet. Uh, like I said, I like this I like this build. Some things I don't agree with, but we're still going to run it back. It did well. So. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, look. That's us at the top. <laughs> So, any uh, cards or things that you guys are excited to try out with this new set? Oh, of course we'll play first. Hmm. This hand's a little awkward. We're not doing anything till turn three. If it's a creature matchup, this hand's sweet. If it's not, this hand is just terrible. Let's try it. The EE -E land blast zone. Yeah, I'm actually really excited for that. I'm um, uh, I've been talking to Andrew quite a bit, and we think we're gonna try out a colorless Eldrazi list. Um, that's going to utilize that. Oh, Eldritch Evolution. Yes, I'm also very excited to try that one out. I don't know if it's improved, but being on turn two is pretty sweet. Okay, this might be Ponza. Or any one of those uh, green ramp decks. Uh, because that one only goes one up, but it in it uh, instead of being two up, and that one has to be exactly one up instead of being two up or less, right? All the dorks. I think this is where a main board <sighs> deputy would have been sweet. Yeah, but I, I think um, for the Vanifar decks, I think that it's going to just replace Cord. I have, I've not been really impressed with Cord as much with this version anyway. So that's going to let us just uh, start chains up a turn earlier and find what we're looking for a turn earlier, which is pretty awesome. We got a Titan. I feel like we got a Titan. We got a Titan. Okay, they're going to take out our Reflector Mage. No bueno. And then... What can we do? I think we just Reflector it to delay a turn. Because we do not have much going on. You are not wrong. We are, we are getting doo dude. Hopefully that's their only payoff. Nope, they got a blood braid. Okay. Into a, a bird. Okay, we're fine with that. We're definitely taking the three. We want to keep creatures on the board.
Mm -mm -mm. Could just run out Vanifar. They would drop their Inferno Titan, kill our Reflector Mage. And then we have Prime Speaker, and then we win? Hmm. Is that... I think that's the best play. We'll pass it over. And we're not going to block with the Vanifar no matter what. Inferno's fine. Our reflector is dead. <sighs> yeah, we per so I don't think they have the bolt. Because if they had the bolt, I feel like they would have just did a one to the prime speaker. And then uh, bolted it. Yeah, that's a cobra. Okay. <laughs> no! <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's not GG. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sad. <laughs> so sad. What is this? Oh, that's twice now. We would have won the game if we didn't draw it. <laughs> oh. oh. There's, there's no way. There's no way. How does this happen to us? How does this happen? <laughs> oh, okay. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Where do we go from here? That's the list, man. I borrowed someone's list. This list did well. It, it top eight on IQ. Like, and we went. We just went five zero with it. Obviously. Oh. Okay. Let's run out Scrib Ranger. We're already down two Reflector Majors as well, so that's pretty awkward. Um. Hmm. We're gonna sack the Scrib Ranger. No wait. I have to untap our Prime Speaker, returning our forest, play the forest, then sack our Scrib Ranger. And ah, uh, Bell Ringer. Um, yeah, let's bell ringer here. And then we're going to rallyer. Rallyer is going to bring back the scrib ranger. And then we can... Sack the Rallier. Get a Resto. Resto blinks the Bell Ringer. And I think we'll have to end this with sacking the the Scrib Ranger, getting the Reflector Mage, Reflector bouncing the um, the Inferno. And we'll have to pass turn. That was literally the one draw we did not want to see. 
That was it. That was the only one. Uh. Okay. I think we can still win this game. They've just got a bunch of mana dorks. But we're going to have to get through them, and if they Inferno Titan next turn and hit our Reflector Mage again, uh, we'll have to go get the EE from our deck, I mean the um, Eternal Witness from our deck to interact with them. Okay, that tracker is not good for us, if, unless they have, don't have lands. Obviously, then we don't care. Two trackers, one land. It's a whole lot of value. This is the problem with running one ofs, folks. This is the problem. And the problem with not being able to cast the spells in your deck. <laughs> Getting a resto is not bad. Do we hold up the resto and just blink the reflector mage when they go to shoot it? If that's the case, should we be using our prime speaker on anything? Yeah, I think clocking them in the air is probably the best bet. I want to make sure we don't die to the ground either, though. I think we're pretty safe to swing them in the air for three. Sack the bell ringer. Go get the third um, resto from our deck. And blink. Use the ref and then blink the um, reflector mage to hit one of the trackers off the board. And then we can hold up a Restoration Angel to blink the Reflector again to hit their Inferno Titan when they cast it. And then that way we'll 3 them this turn and 9 them next turn. Um, yeah, I think that's where we're at. So, let's 3 this turn. Sack the bell ringer, hit the resto, resto the reflector. That. And we'll hold up the restoration angel. Uh, we've already used the one of rallyer in the deck. No, this is the only flyer we have that's at three. The Scrib Ranger's already in the... Okay, Rhythm's gonna be annoying. Oh, they're going to Cobra route. Okay. Oh, it's because they have a fetch land.
Well, if our opponent just taps out here for their um, for their Inferno using their birds, we just win either way. If they don't, I don't think we win. I would hope they're smart enough just to use their Arbor Elf here for their Inferno. Alright, they're giving it haste. They're going to send a 3 damage at Reflector, which is what we expected. How does getting the Scrib Ranger back win? Yeah, the the static caster is unfortunately in the cyborg, so we're definitely bringing that in. Reese, how do we win with Scrib Ranger? Because I can cast the Ooze, sack the Ooze for an Ewit, use the Ewit to get Scrib Ranger. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, we have one Reflector. No, we just win, right? We, uh, we have another Reflector Mage. So we just run out the ooze, and then we'll um, sack it, go get Reflector Mage, bounce their bird because they tapped one of them, and then we win. Oh yeah, okay. Never mind. The reflector mage is in our in the on the board. I'm done. And we're one mana short. I'm done. We're one mana short of doing this. The third reflector is on the battlefield already. I for some reason completely forgot it was there. We can get the Ewet to bring back the Scrib Ranger, cast the Scrib Ranger. I'm not sure getting Night and Shattering does anything for us too much because when they, I mean, I guess it, uh, no, it does, I guess. So, but we would, do we just swing for two in the air to bring him down to six? We could go get Ewit to get the Scrib Ranger, cast the Scrib Ranger, go down to a untap to get another creature on the board, if we think that's necessary. It's probably not necessary. Yeah, I don't think we want to damage ourselves more than we have to, I guess, at this point.
Hit the E wet, cast the scrib, untap, get the knight, blow up rhythm, and then hold up chord. I think that's the line we're going to go with. Okay, we've got quite the board. I want to swing with at least two. No, we don't have. Hmm. If we swing with two, we can only cord for three. All right. Well, either, I think we have to sack the scrib ranger here to get that knight of autumn to blow up that rhythm. And then I think we have to pass. Dropping the Titan. All right, they're just gonna shoot us.
Hmm, just passing. I think now is going to be as good as time as any to cord. <clears throat> we don't really have much left, to be honest. We've got birds, nobles, which are irrelevant. Same with the walls. The prime speaker we already have in play. Thalia doesn't do much at this point. The voices, and then we have a Glenalandra. So I think we're just going to grab the Glenalandra for another flyer. I think there's a strong probability that we're dead. Right, we want to be able to block everything because they're going to be able to swing at us, shoot us for three immediately. And then after that, we're going to be in a pretty bad situation. Because we'll be at two, and then uh, the Cobra hits. So one, two, three, four, five creatures we must block. Six creatures we must block. Mm -mm. That's rough. Well, I think we're going to have to just pass. Well, we could Eldritch Evolution the Glenalandra just for an additional blocker. Because it's going to come back. I have a voice here. Why don't we sack the voice though? Because the voice token is going to be massive for us. I know that doesn't give us anything to hit, but it's a 9 9 voice token. And we've got plenty of creatures to block with. So let's pass. See if that's good enough. Another Inferno Titan. Because if they do, we're dead. Bloodbraid Elf. Oh, that's a Hydra. That's a big Hydra. How do they want to do this swing? That's going to be a massive tracker and a massive hydra. Okay, they're going to shoot our creatures down, which is really unfortunate. Those are massive. Okay.
block like that and go to one. And that's going to be game. Yep. Okay. So I want to see Deputy, Staticaster, and the Knight of Autumn. Let's ditch the Scavenging Ooze. Oh, I guess we can ditch the, uh, the Glen as well. I'm not sure how big Thalia is actually going to be in this. Let's keep the Glen. We'll bring those in. Let's run it like that. Ah, oh, that was so close. We probably ate more of our clock there than we really should have, but I think that's fine. We were pretty close to just taking over that game. And thanks everybody for joining tonight. We'll be playing Vanifar until about 10 o'clock tonight. So you guys are more than welcome to let me know what you guys think. Uh, after this current version we're playing, there is a um, Vizier of Menagerie version that I want to try out. I really haven't played that card much. Um, so that one seems really interesting. So play that there's also a version that went 5-0 that ran a dire fleet daredevil that seems pretty hot and then it also ran paths in the main which is pretty respectable it's a pretty good card right now so these versions that we're playing right now also doesn't run shalai and i'm such a big fan of shalai so i'm kind of surprised okay we can keep this we can keep them off their game a good bit here by going a bird into reflector into resto wing the reflector so Hmm, two Utopia Sprawls. How rude. I guess the question right now is if we think we want a Resto or the Voice. Um, I think we're okay with just running out the Voice and then we can hold up Resto. And I ran out the windswept there because I want to fetch a planes up just because they have that option of getting blood moon and I don't really want to deal with a blood moon.
we're just gonna pass here. There's the blood moon. Hey guys, we can cast our Kikijiki now. <laughs> We're in the position where we kind of want to pressure them. So why don't we blink our Reflector Mage. And we'll bounce that bird. Prime Speaker, I'll take that. Boom. And let's swing. into an arbor elf is just fine with us that's absolutely fine we'll take the damage here Cobra's fine. Okay, they're tapped out. So we are going to sack the voice. Get ourselves a voice token. Go get Bell Ringer. Let's tap the board. Sack this. Sack our Reflector Mage. Go get a Resto. We'll blink the Bell Ringer. And then we'll sack a Resto. Get a Kiki. Gonna target the bell ringer because this should be a bit quicker. I guess this is quicker. I just told it to save targets. Always yes. Oh my gosh. Alright, they got one flyer. Alright, we'll make one more and then that should be lethal. Okay, that was good. I almost want to play the Avalanche Rider to punish them for the um, the Utopia Sprawls. I'm not sure how greedy that is, but uh, it seems pretty good, right? Right? Let's try it.
Seems a little suspect, but just got a turn two wall of roots into a turn three prime speaker. Blood Moon? Yes, sir. We can evolution for four. And go get ourselves a Night of Autumn to get out from underneath this Blood Moon. gonna run out the voice pass and we'll plan on using windswept getting ourselves a blue source if we need it here I think our opponent is definitely trying to time us so we'll have to be careful and just try to play as fast as possible. We have four minutes to try to win. It's a Hydra. I think we're just going to take the damage here because we're just going to reflect our major, I guess, at this point. So we don't reflect her, we're dead. Swing at them. What? Uh, 
we're gonna have to bl block that take four um <laughs> oh this is awkward um We're just gonna pass here, try to resto, and then we'll have blink one creature. Problem is they have trample. to block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're one short of courting for Kiki Jiki. Um, running out Deus doesn't do enough. We run out Vanna Farm Pass. That's gonna be it. Unfortunately, the it's too much damage. Oh, that was a. Uh, I think I, I definitely think we could have won the game. I was making some quick hasty plays as I think I think it's through because we were so short on time, and I wasted so much time in the first game there. Um, yeah, I think the biggest thing is we probably should have just have taken. Well, I guess if we, if we would have taken that first hit, we would have been off white. Which would have put us in a really awkward spot. But we would have been able to run out Vanifar the next turn. But no, we really couldn't have, I guess. So, because we would have taken too much of a beating. Hmm. Oh, that was close. That was hasty 10-10s. Ten They'll uh, do work, I tell you what. 10-10 ten, ten tramplers, wow. That Hydro's nuts, too. I, I didn't realize, because I never really encountered it, but I didn't realize that it pumped their entire team. And I think a big portion of that was our, uh, the turn that I decided to get the Knight of Autumn to blow it up. Maybe that was not the right line. There, there possibly was just a better line there, um, and I didn't go with it, so... Yeah, I don't know. Hindsight 2020 and all that, I suppose.
Thalia's fine. We'll grab a breeding pool. Razor Verge. Run off this wall. Pass it over. Ideally here, we're just going to go Vanifar next turn and then win the game the following turn. So we'll see if we can make that happen. Bugler is fine. And they get an image. And they're going to image the Bugler. Now oh, they're just going to pass. Okay. I'll run up Prime Speaker and pass it over. Copy their Bugler. Or are they going to take our... Nope, okay. I didn't know if they would want to take our Vanifar. And they're going to get another Bugler. Oh my gosh, so much value. Ooh, Reflector Mage. That's pretty good on their part. We'll block one. There's another one we can't crash. Well, let's run out voice, and we'll pass it over. We can flash in the Scrib Ranger to block the reflector at the very least. It's another reflector mage. <laughs> oh, they're going to copy our voice. Oh, well, that's awkward for us. Well, I don't want to flash in that script now. Another Reflector Mage if we run out this Vanifar. Let's draw a card. That still is pretty good, I suppose. Big old creature. No value bounce, really. But we'll blink our Wall of Roost right now. So they don't get a token, and we can pass it over to them. They'll bounce our elemental, I imagine. Unless they want to hold it up with a uh, vial. Mm-mm-mm. Well, they're done swinging. I 
Turn out the ooze. Turn out the scrib ranger. Can eat our I'm interested why they keep that vial at two, though. I would think at three it has value with that reflector mage, but. Just swinging with that. We're just gonna block with the wall. Speaker, play a land. And we'll pass it over. cards in hand. Oh, they're using their vial right now. I find that interesting, but reflector our prime speaker? Sure. Not like we can do anything about it. Okay. Well, I think what we're going to do now is kill their bugler, return our force, and then that way we can eat the image. No, we cannot cast that. We just went over this. Run out the temple. I think we're just gonna pass turn. We're still not in a spot where I'm like really comfortable swinging because, like, if they get another, like, we swing with a creature, they can um, get another reflector, and then we're down to just three creatures, and they're gonna be hitting us a good chunk. They have just a massive board, so I think we're best off just trying to get Vanifar down and then winning the game. Eat that because I can. Keep drawing lands. Does our opponent have that they're just holding in their hand? Okay. That's pretty good. Are they willing to swing? It looks like they are. Okay. I want to block. 
in a way that if they were to um, flash in Athalia's lieutenant, we're not too badly punished. But I don't think we have much of an option here at this point. I'm going to swap these blocks because even though they bounce off of each other, if they do flash in, we can use Grib Ranger target the voice here, kill it, and then we could eat it to make our ooze a 5 5. Yeah, that's what I thought would happen. This is okay. Not great for us, but we can deal with this. So like I said, I'm gonna use this. Kill the voice. Eat the, ooh, eat the image. a ton sure Voice, sack it. Get a bell ringer. Sack the ooze. Get a rally. It doesn't really matter what we're getting here, is the thing, because we're just trying to have enough creatures on board because then we can untap this, bounce this back and now we can sack the rallier get the resto, resto's gonna blink the bell ringer and then we go and get Kiki Jiki Kiki's gonna target that Okay, opponent's going to concede. Alrighty, so we got a grindier creature matchup, so let's get Deputy going. We want the Is It Static Caster, we want the Finx here. Don't really think we want anything else. Yeah. We could bring a Knight of Autumn as well, blow up the vials, get a big creature. Thalias don't seem that important to me here. Neither does Glenalandra. And I think we can cut one cord. Give them less targets for their kite sail freebooter. Great hand, but this is fine. We've got a lot of pr um, a lot of dorks, and then we got a resto, so we can get a relevant creature onto the board here pretty fast. Yeah, 
They get a turn one noble. We get a turn one noble. Champion, okay. Meddling mage, how rude. Oh, they're naming path. Little they know. I'm gonna even play that card. Just gonna pass. I don't know the Scrib Ranger. I think we win in two turns here. Deputy of Detention, that's rough. We're gonna go get a Plains. And we're gonna run up the Scrib Ranger to block the Meddling Mage. instant speed no matter what. So we're just going to pass here. I think we very well may just... Uh, I think it's Static Caster here, depending on how they approach this turn, because we can block with Scrib Ranger again, and then we can Static Caster away the, the Meddling Mage, and then hit the Noble as well, which seems pretty good. Looks like they're running out of Mantis Rider. And if that's the case, we may want to just run out Resto to kill it. Yeah, that seems like our best bet. I'll take a bigger hit. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we shock ourselves. Chord. Four, five. Get ourselves the Kiki Jiki.
save targets, always yes, always yield. Okay. Cool. Opponent conceded, we'd have to run through the whole thing. Get this match three started. Uh, we're not doing anything till turn three, but this hand's pretty solid. Like, we're interacting with a lot of different decks here. So, as long as they're not going crazy, we should be fine. If they're like eight rag, we're like probably dead. <laughs> Like, you have to take an E-Wet, right? Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Going against the rock. Pretty good that we drew an ooze. Probably goodbye, ooze. Yep. Bobby boy. I think we still just want to uh, get a breeding pool, shock ourselves, and uh, bounce this goif. Against the rock. Another Bob. Okay. I really wish we had Static Cast on the main now. <laughs> Do we want to reflector it? Record for two. I think we would rather reflector it. As much as we want to hit the goif, I think that's fine because we'll be able to cord for a restoration angel and then hit the goif. So let's swing here. Our opponent's actually lying to us. They're unjunked. Or are they? Yes, they are. That's a black leaf. Blood braid elf. Into an abrupt decay. Goodbye, reflector mage. We're taking five this turn.
Hmm, well, it's not bad. I think we just need to gain the life at this point. And we'll pass it back. So they've got a black cleave and a goif in hand and an inquisition. And then three unknowns. Opponent's making our life rough. Lily, okay. Inquisition, there goes Cord, and then they're going to take our Glenalandra. And they're going to drop the Goyfi. Times like this makes me miss our zealous conscripts in our version. Like an Eldritch Evolution. Could ship away our Knight of Autumn just to go get a Reflector Mate? I mean, um. A Kiki Jiki copy our Reflector Mage, bounce the Goyf, and swing at them. That doesn't sound terrible. No, it really doesn't sound bad. I guess we're slowing them down a good bit. I don't want to swing with the original, but I'll swing with this token, see if they want to trade. Yeah, we'll take that. <sighs> if they make a sack, we sack the wall, so we really need them to blank on their draw here for one turn. Ooze is fine. Pretty rude. Understandable, they're getting pretty low. But they have a ooze in play, so they could just keep getting alive. We'll sack the voice token. I mean the voice to get a token. Get a bolt. Means we've got a one one. Probably taking three here. Thalia is not going to be doing much for us. I 
think this is over, unfortunately. Gonna be enough for us to call it. Mm -mm. It's a bummer. Okay. So I don't want the Thalias. I don't actually want the Static Caster, like they only hit the Bobs, and that's kind of awkward. I don't think we need the Knight of Autumns either. Eidolon. Does stop the Lead Braid Elf, so that's not terrible. Thanks lets us get somewhat aggressive. I think Deputy's pretty solid here. We can take some of their stuff and punish them, I suppose. I want to bring in Magus and Avalanche Riders to see if we can cut them off. So, boom and boom. Why don't we cut just a... Uh, We'll cut a Mandadork here. I want to keep as many spells as we can. We will keep that. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I guess we, eh, okay. we'll keep this, but it's kind of awkward. So, like, we actually can't cast the Magus uh, with our current hand set up, because once again, this deck has no way to get the red source. Oh, there we go. Grab a forest, run out the wall, and then run out the bird. We'll pass it over. Yes, they're falling right into our plan. No, we didn't want to draw that. <laughs> Well, we're not the Magus. We'll get them off green, I suppose. Goodbye, Magus. Eater of Bolts. Just run out the Vanifar at this point. Once again, we're in this we're in this really awkward situation where we have Kikijuki. We also can go one, two, three, four, five, six. Record for three. Yeah, I think we're just gonna run out. Um, we're just going to run out Vanifar. What's up, Sweetie Pooh? Thanks for joining me. We're playing Vanifar Pod. 
first, Liga went 5-0. and oh. We're running it back. We're currently 1-1, one one, I believe. So we're in match three. See what our opponents got for us. Yep, nope, that's a trophy. We'll take three. Mm, that's not the worst thing ever. You're playing RuneScape? I mean, you know, I never got into RuneScape, but I feel like everybody that plays RuneScape absolutely loves RuneScape. Uh, well, we can Bell Ringer here, and then Resto next turn, right? And then go for the Cord. Is the core doesn't really do all that much. Yeah, I had a good chunk of friends that played a ton of it. I mainly grew up on, like, the Super Nintendo for a really long time. And I played a bunch of single-player, like, RPGs and whatnot until I got to, uh... Until I got to the point where I wanted to play... Honey, there's two creatures they can eat. Yeah, that's awkward. We will just... Blah... And blink. And then I got to like middle school era where I was like playing Halo and stuff. And then uh, obviously that just got out of control and I played too much Halo. And then after playing too much Halo, I played like way too much WoW. You know, there is the line where, I guess, if we go and get a mountain at one point here, we can Scrib Ranger the Birds of Paradise to untap it to produce another red. That's not unreasonable, right? Mm -mm -mm. Well, if they're going to make us this card, though, I think we just pitch the Kiki Jiki. It's just not as realistic to play, and next turn we can cord for anything in our deck, including like an E-Wit to bring it back. Um, I don't know if I'll get the Master Chief Collection. So, like, I've, I've found that, like, a good portion of my time playing anything nowadays is almost always dedicated to, like, playing with friends online. So, like, if I can't do that, I don't really play too much of a game. Like, I bought Red Dead Redemption 2, right? And then I bought, um... I waited, like, over a decade for Kingdom Hearts 3. <laughs> and, uh, I bought it. I played it for, like, six hours. And I just haven't played it since, which is like really bad, I feel. 
like I, I should be just jamming that game a ton i just haven't found like i don't know i haven't had time and in my free time where i am playing like a single player game of some sort i'm almost always playing this game thanks for subscribing gorbatron resubscription i believe right and uh, looks like you're grinding some Hydron on Warframe and needed something to keep you from being so bored. Okay, okay. Well, thanks for hanging out, man. Yeah, I couldn't get into Kingdom Hearts either. I felt a weird, right? Like, I don't know. I felt like I should have just been absolutely in love with the game, and I just wasn't. I think I'm going to cord... for four and we can get a restoration angel and blink the bell ringer to untap everything if we want is that or get a vanifar but if we get Vanifar, they have most likely removal for it. This will let us block two things. But blocking two things doesn't even seem that great against them right now. Yeah, and that was another thing. Like, it waited so long to come out that... I don't know why they waited for that such a such a huge amount of time. It's insane. I think ooze is the play that if we want to like start fighting over creatures, we could do it. But we would be taking a big hit this turn. So I think we're just gonna resto and blink the bell ringer like we were originally planning. Yeah, the Team Bob plan's pretty good. I think we just want to block that. They can bolt our resto if they want. Yeah, like, I feel like when I pick up and play Kingdom Hearts 3, all I think about is the nostalgia aspect of it. Good. Oh, this is like we we've gotten a lot uh, it a lot this time where just drawing the kiki has cost us the game. Tracker. We're gonna get buried under value real quick here. Is there already out drawing cards on us? Yeah. That's it. Like, they're about to draw like three cards. I think we're good to just move on and get on to the next match here. All right. One and two. Not obviously as good as we did last time, but see if we can finish this and make this a uh, even league. And then see if we can squeeze in one more league before I call it a night. Yeah, I think when I do finally get around to playing Kingdom Hearts 3, I'm just going to honestly play it just to see how the storyline finishes out. Because I have not... I've been avoiding spoilers on it quite a bit, which is good. Um, but yeah. I don't know. I'm just not big into single player games anymore. I love them. I, I love the idea of them. But uh, 
I always feel like when I, I'm gaming, I'd rather be getting a social aspect out of it. That's why I enjoy playing Magic. When I play Magic, right now, the only reason I stream is so I can talk to other people, play games while I'm playtesting, which is really sweet to me, or just when I'm jamming games. That's fine. Um, but, like, if I couldn't do that, I, would, I, I don't know. I wouldn't enjoy myself at all. His hand's pretty terrible. We're going to keep it because it does have a redraw and it has a turn two mana ramp. And we'll see if that is good enough. Yeah, I am pretty excited for Borderlands 3. Like, I don't know why people were giving um, that trailer so much crap. I don't I enjoyed it. Maybe that's just because I have bad taste at this point. I don't know. And I was, like, so excited for Grizz to be, like, the music with, with that trailer, too. But, like, I am super excited for Borderlands 3. I played so much Borderlands. Alright. Well, they got the Vanifar on us, but we can cord for a Knight of Autumn and blow that up. Because we're definitely against the War deck. All right, well, we can only cord for two right now, so we'll have to pass. Next turn, we can cord for three, which I think will be huge for us. Another Staring Bridge is fine. We can deal with those eventually. All right, we can do this at instant speed, so let's just pass this over to them. That would be a pretty good reason. I did not realize it was an Epic Store exclusive for six months. Do we even care about the Sorcerer Spyglass? Because we could just cord for the night. Uh, I guess... see what makes the most sense they have no cards in hand at the very least we're gonna uh, we're gonna just get um ewit here and just get our card back but i'm trying to decide if it's more worthwhile for us to get a knight of autumn because we can get a knight of autumn and then we can start blinking it and blowing up their board which will be pretty good yeah it doesn't seem unreasonable Let's start with the E with though. Yeah, wall still bugged with cord. As far as I can tell anyway, right? Like it can't uh can't do what it needs to do. I think I'm going to expose our Kiki Jiki. They're down to just one card. Because I can drop the Kiki Jiki here. And then I can go and get infinite cords pretty much. Pretty Yeah, pretty much. And then we'll be able to just outvalue them out of this game. We're just going to get uh, E-Whip back the cord with Kiki Jiki. 
Yeah, that's fine, I guess. They don't have enough mana to crack it and go get a, a spy, another spyglass, so... Make a copy of that. Bring back the cord. Alrighty. So, we will start off by evolutioning away the clone. And we can get our... We just get the resto. Probably, right? Because we have... Yeah, we, we can't generate infinite mana, so. Not yet, anyway. Well, I guess we can just get the knights. Yeah, we'll just get the knight, blow up the ensnaring bridge. Copy the knight. Blow up another ensnaring bridge. Play the land. And now we'll just uh, cord. Four, three, and four. Go get ourselves a Restoration Angel. Bounce our Kiki and win the game. Alrighty. We're rude. We're rude. Alright, so I want to bring in the Negates. I want to bring in the Knight of Autumn. I want to bring in the Deputy of Detention. I think the Avalanche Rider actually has a lot of value here, blowing up their lands over and over and over. Because uh, they actually use their lands quite a bit to go find stuff for them. And then Kataki, I think, is very good. I think that's it. I think we're fine with dipping the rest. Um, they've got no creatures, so we don't need these reflectors. And we're also not on the creature grind, so we don't need these voices. I think we can dip on the ooze as well. Let's try that. Yeah, I really like the fact they're running Avalanche Rider. I don't agree with having only one red source in the deck and it's a mountain. Like, that's really weird to me. Oh, this hand's awkward. It's good, but it's awkward. Uh, we need to hit another land for sure. And our uh, fetch land can only get either the Breeding Pool or the Temple Garden. So we can't either, we, we either are able to cast the Thalia or the Negate, and then it's going to um, impact the rest of our plays. So, but we'll see what happens here. I'm, I think this is worth keeping because I want to, this Knight of Autumn is going to be sweet. So, we're most likely going to fetch up a White Source. So then we can drop the Thalia, slow down their stuff, and then drop the Knight of Autumn. Yeah, the amount of lines in this deck is always really crazy. And we're so good. We're so good. We draw the bird off the top. No issue. <laughs> four, dollar, four, four color decks can definitely be awkward. Like, it's this is effectively a three color deck. Just splashing for the Kiki Jiki. But a splash of Kiki Jiki is not a splash, right? Like, you're, you're going to have to work hard for that one. All right, they're going to name Prime Speaker. I think we're good to just run out the Thalia. Let's slow them down a little bit. Next turn, we're going to run out the Knight of Autumn, most likely to blow up that Welding Jar. Yep, they got the cage.
Yeah, there's like some crazy lines we have to do in order to get that. just gonna run out this Vanifar actually. I know we can't activate it, but um, the Eldritch, the Cord, and Inner Hand is pretty awkward. Knight can hit basically the Welding Jar is what it can do right now. Alright, there's the Ensnaring, but they still got two cards in hand. So why don't we run out the Bird and we'll swing at them for four. Another bridge, I guess we'll negate that. I wish these were nobles right now. We've got a lot of cards we can hit. Just gotta hit them. They're gonna go get another welding jar. Because that would be pretty annoying for us. Oh, uh, the Mythic Edition of Johnny? That's nice. All right, well, at least we got a resto, so that's good. So we'll pass turn here. We'll plan on blinking this knight, taking out another welding jar, and then seeing what we can do from that. I feel like it's always a good day when you're beating Dredge. Like, some of the, like, some of the hands that Dredge can get is just absolutely insane. Okay, they're bringing back Welding Jar. Awkward. Guess we'll... They can just do that every turn. And we can hold up in the gate. Okay, we're drawing all the Eldritch Evolutions. Let me just pass. I 
Well, I don't want to alarm you folks, but we can now officially cast Kiki Jiki. Oh, that seems like a sweet primal command on them. So I feel like we need to hit Kataki and then after that we have to hit like uh then we have to start hitting multiple effects like getting a Kiki Jiki just so we just start chaining um destroy effects on them. This is the only way we're winning this game. Because it's just a matter of time before they fetch up their crucible and start um, review letting us. Oh, you left them with just two imps in hand? Oh, man. You're rude. They had no way to discard it. They're just, like, hoping for... Uh, like, getting lucky and getting a discard effect after that because you're going to bounce a land in. Could they get like, uh, do they have enough lands where if they ripped a cathartic off the top, they're just going to be able to uh, dredge like crazy? Um, I wouldn't say it's almost like Plow Under. It's like much better than Plow Under. Let's be real. I feel like the sequence of cards that we have to get is so insane that we should just give up and move on to our next game. Because this is theoretically over, uh, so I'm just going to ship it here. Let's just move on. We got another game that we have a, an option of hitting. I actually want to bring in the Magus now, and I want to bring back in the Scavenging Ooze to try to lock, uh, so they don't lock us out like that again. Why don't we trim a bird in a wall? So what do you guys think about the current setup for the stream? Anything you guys don't like about it, do like about it? I don't think we can keep this hand, folks. I think we got to ship that. We can keep this for sure. Let's bend the cord.
Let's just run out this knight and blow up that max that they will save, I'm sure. So if we Eldritch Evolution, I would like to Eldritch Evolution set up. So I think what we'll do here is we're going to Deputy of Detention them. So we'll pay the life here. And we'll Deputy of Detention them. Target the mox, make them pay the life. If not, we get the mox. I'm cool with that. Okay, we get the mox and I'll pass it over. And I'd like to Eldritch. You can see whatever they want. It doesn't really matter. So we're going to Eldritch here. As long as they don't name Kiki Jiki. We can Eldritch away the deputy, get Kiki Jiki, and then tap Kiki Jiki with knights, just start blowing stuff up, which would be really cool. They did name Kiki Jiki, that's sad. We can shut them out of colors right now, which is not bad. But I think we're better off using our evolution right now. Why don't we evolution away the deputy? So we could go get Resto, blow up the Sorcerer Spyglass. That's not bad. But they would redirect it, I guess. We could go get Kataki and tax him three every turn. I'm okay with that. Hey, why don't we start there? Put them into this dilemma where they're getting taxed three mana every turn. And then we'll E wet. Get back the deputy and then we can start punishing them a little bit more. Or we'll just be able to... Yeah, I just want to be careful when we run out this Magus because we'll be locking ourselves out of um, one color. So... for three. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. I guess we're okay with Magazine now. We'll lock them out of their uh, colors other than the Mox. Slow them down, stop their life gain, and we can just beat in, I guess, for a bit.
Got a bridge, but they still got two cars in their hand, luckily. Well, we will take a Vanifar. Let's beat in with everyone. Okay, we got another spyglass to shut out the Kiki Jiki, I mean the Prime Speaker. Pretty rude of them. We can cord. Cord here for one, two, three, four. want to get on the land destruction plan so we can e-wit it back and then blow up another land The more lands they can blow up, the less they'll be able to keep on the board, which is good. Because so already they're at five, they have six. Probably just give up their mocks, or what are they going to do? Giving up their spell sky, that's interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, no, I don't want to play for the echo. Oh, we should have just brought back the deputy. Spell has gone. Okay, they're going to quit. All right, yeah, we should have brought the deputy back there because we would have been able to cast it, take off their spy glasses, and then I think we would just completely won at that point. Obviously, we completely won because they conceded. This is pretty solid. We'll keep this. So I, feel, I still feel really weird about these voices. But. Stinkweed, stinkweed. Wow, that's really rude, opponent.
think we want to save the reflector for something that's a little bit more annoying. So let's run out the voice and we'll pass it over. Next turn, we're probably going to cord for an ooze. We do have one in the main, right? Yeah, we have one in the main. Um, it's a little late, but I think that's still fine. Maybe not. Maybe we just have to go for the combo. Okay, they're going to conflag our birdie. That's like really rude. Okay, well, I think we're gonna go get a breeding pool. And why don't we reflector an amalgam? And we'll pass it back. Kind of just on the overloading the board plan right now, just as just to get enough creatures so we can cord for the win. And we should. I'm hoping to do that within two turns here. We'll block this. Nah. We'll just go for one big creature. whole lot of amalgams <sighs> okay well let's run out the voice run out another voice pass it over uh, do they have enough to kill us with just 10 flags because they can kind of flag for six they can go three and three. We're down to just two creatures. They swing with the board, and the next turn they can flag for the kill. Well, either way, I guess we're doing this. Oh, that's awkward. If we block this, those die triggers, and then this dies from state base effect. Well, I guess we have to block like that then. Oh, and then we die from Conflag. Okay. Well, that was putting us in an awkward spot. Because so, if we blocked differently, we couldn't go for the kill. So. Alright, we want the Cleric. We want Deputies. We want to see the Negates. Don't really think I want to see anything else. Mm -mm -mm. That was rough. Um, Thalia would slow them down a bit. Glenn seems fine. Reflector seems a bit weak in this, but I think voices are weaker. Yeah, I think we're gonna cut two cords. We'll run it like that. It's gonna be sweet if we can like remorse, uh, remorseful cleric exile their graveyard and then like trigger bring it back and then do it again just to keep them out of this game. Well, we have to have lands to start with. Still no lands. Okay, we're going to five. <laughs> This is still a one layer that can't do anything. We're down to four. Okay, I guess we'll keep this. Um, we can ship the Scrib. Ugh. I guess we're doing this.
point, I was asking us to show them the laid line because obviously we have the the London Mulligan going on right now. Well, there goes our bird. And that might just be game here because we're left with just lands and an Eldritch. We were just hoping to Eldritch into a scavenging ooze and, and seeing if that could take over the game because we just don't have much else going on. Um, so far I've honestly liked it more. I, I don't I have less of those feel bad games, so This game itself I don't think matters at this point. We're down we are at four cards and we're like almost nothing now. Like, even if we hit, like, a one-drop, so we can hit a Remorseful Cleric, like, we're still in a super rough spot. I guess on the plus side, they don't have any triggered effects right now to bring anything back. That's a blood gas. And another blood gas. So we could cord for one right now. Which is what I think we're gonna do. Cause then we could Eldritch Evolution for the Remorseful Cleric and exile their graveyard. We got 22 cards out of their deck. Oh, I F6 pass our turn. Well, it's just a land. Ugh, this is so rough. Can hit a ooze right now. Nope. I was gonna say if we hit ooze right now, we actually could be back in the game. Come on, ooze. We still got a chance in this if we'd hit it. Hmm, it's a vampire. Are they gonna conflag the vampire? Is the question. Just a assassin's trophy yet. That's a birdie. There's some of their creatures. Yeah, 
And the Kun flag will finish it. Uh, that's disappointing. All right, so we ran this 5-0 into a 2-3. Got uh, some of those games we just lost because we drew the Kiki Jiki. So that was really unfortunate. But um, I think I'm going to call it here tonight. Uh, I wanted to get another league in, but it's already 9.30. So I'm not going to be able to get another league in before my normal cutoff time. So I'll be back on Sunday, guys, to check out some more stream. Um, if there's another deck you guys want to see played, let me know. Otherwise, we're going to just probably jam some uh, more Vanifar. I really do want to keep testing this deck. If there's a list of Vanifar that you really want to see, let me know. And I'm more than happy to jam that and test it out. So thank you, everybody, have the, ha uh, for joining me. And have a wonderful night.